Today's game is being produced and distributed by Cooper Sports Network. Any redistribution, retransmission, or any other use of this copyrighted material contained in this presentation is strictly prohibited by federal law. All rights reserved. Cooper Sports presents live coverage of NCAA Division III softball. This SCAC matchup features the U Dallas Lady Crusaders and the University of St. Thomas Celts. Live from West University Softball Association in Houston, Texas. Today's game is brought to you by Cooper Entertainment Group, your broadcast home of Cooper Sports and the leader in high school, junior college, and NCAA athletics. Cooper Sports, we bring you to the game. And good morning, turning in the afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome in to what is a mostly cloudy, but we'll see the sun patched in and out of some clouds above us before the afternoon is over with as we welcome in the game one of this doubleheader between the University of Dallas Crusaders out of Irving, Texas, and the University of St. Thomas out of Houston as we get set for this matchup. Looking at the current standings in SCAC play, it is Texas Lutheran with an eight and one record. Trinity one game back at seven and two, then Centenary seven and three. St. Thomas at six and three, one game out of second place now. Southwestern six and four. Those four five teams have pretty much set their playoff standings. And right now the battle is between Austin College, Schreiner, and U Dallas. Two and seven for Austin College, Schreiner at one and eight, and U Dallas at 0 oh and nine. The teams that are battling for the final six and final playoff spot in the standings. As we take a look at the standings, getting set for this, you have Texas Lutheran right now with the one-game lead, and you have the two-game lead over both St. Thomas and Centenary in the standings. So it will be a battle, and right now St. Thomas needs to try to take care of business as Dallas comes in with a 3-19 and record, 0-9 in SCAC play. And for St. Thomas coming off a lost series, they lost two out of three over the Last weekend, the Southwestern, 13-9 overall on the season and 6-3 and in SCAC play. I will take a time out, come back and look around the schedule around the conference and get you the lineups and first pitch coming up next on coopersports.net.
I'm back live here from Houston, Texas, as we continue on getting set for our start of this one as this matchup between U Dallas and the University of St. Thomas. And taking a look at the schedule around the conference, one game in the books from yesterday, Centenary falling in Georgetown to Southwestern, 8-5. to five. They'll play game two of their series today. On today's schedule, U Dallas and St. Thomas will lead it off. Then at 1 o'clock, it'll be Shriner taking on Texas Lutheran in Kerrville. Centenary will play game two and game one of the doubleheader at 1 o'clock. Then we'll follow this one up at 2 o'clock with our second game of the doubleheader in game two of the series. Then it'll be Centenary taking on Southwestern in their final game of that three-game series. Then wrapping up the day, it'll be Texas Lutheran taking on Shriner in game two of their doubleheader, and Austin College taking on Trinity in a doubleheader that will begin at 5 o'clock and conclude at 7 o'clock tonight as we are set to get this one started here. As Stepping into the box will be Abby Lasley. The center fielder will lead it off. Batting second will be Jennifer Small. The right fielder has the pitch on the outside corner for a called strike one. Nobody on, nobody out. Just underway here from Houston, Texas. As a pitch slides off the outside corner for ball one, one and one. Mariah Hinojosa, the designated player for the pitcher, Sonny Del Thies. Batting cleanup will be Mackenzie Flocky, the first baseman. Pitch a little bit low and inside, ball two, two and one. Second baseman is Erica Gazelski. Batting six will be the second, third baseman, Amarisa Garza has a pitch slowly grounded, third base side passed. Jalen Simmons. In the seventh spot, Lizette Sosa behind the plate, batting eighth, the shortstop, Bree Barnes, and batting ninth will be the left fielder, Isabella Halsey. So the top three, Lasley in center, Smallton right, Hinojosa, the D designated player, the middle three, Flocky at first. Gazos gets second, Garza the third baseman, and the bottom three, Sosa the catcher, Barnes the shortstop, and Halsey left field popped. Left field side, but room running out down that side for Rebecca Archibald. Setting the defense for St. Thomas. Behind the plate, Chloe Bennett at first base, Gabby Davila. Haley Lupin, Lupian at second base, shortstop Lindsey Gonzalez, and third baseman Jalen Simmons. In the outfield, Delaney Moreno as that ball lined to Simmons. And one out. Good play by Simmons at third base as she rounds out the infield. In the outfield, Delaney Moreno center, Rebecca Archibald in left, and Isabella Charles in right field. As that pitch over the outside corner called strike one. Home plate umpire Johnny Paz. He's assisted by the base umpire Jeff Dubrow. Dimensions here at Westview. 210 down the lines. 220 to straightaway center field. That pitch catches the outside corner once again. And this is something we saw from Allie Hughes coming off an injury, getting ahead in the count quickly in that game two victory of the series last weekend against Southwestern. That pitch in the dirt, waste pitch for ball one. One ball and two strikes with one out. Has the wind and the pitch by Hughes popped up down the right field side over the U Dallas dugout and out of play. U Dallas wearing their all navy blue uniforms with the scripted Dallas across the chest. White numbers, white piping on the lettering and white trim. Navy blue headgear as a pitch in the dirt for ball two. Count holding at, are now at two and two. Mariah Hinojosa, the designated player, waiting on deck to the right side. Hughes, the sophomore out of Langham Creek High School, the former Lobo, has a pitch popped in front of the plate, but foul. No chance to come down there and get it for Davila. It'll hold the count at two and two. As pitch grounded back up the middle. 
Second baseman over. Throw to first base by Lupian in time to Davila. 4-3 on the putout. Quickly two up and two down now. Nobody on, two away. How's it to bring in the right under Mariah Hinojosa? Wearing that heavy right knee brace. Has the pitch right across the heart of the plate for strike one. Two outs, nobody on here in the top half of the first inning, just underway in game one of this doubleheader. Has the wind by Hughes and the pitch. Popped. Lupien will go at about three steps onto the outfield grass and secure the third out of the inning, and that will do it for you, Dallas. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left on base. We head to the home half of the first inning. Scoreless after one half inning here from Houston. Back after this timeout on Coopersports.net. Back live here from Houston, Texas, as we go to the bottom half of the first inning and leading it off with the left fielder, Rebecca Archibald, batting second, the second baseman, Haley Lupian, batting third, the third baseman, Jalen Simmons. In the cleanup spot will be the catcher, Chloe Bennett, batting fifth, the right fielder, Mallory Munson. In the sixth spot, the designated player, Isabel Charles, batting for the pitcher, Ali Hughes. In the seventh spot, the shortstop, Lindsey Gonzalez, batting eighth, will be Gabby Davila, the first baseman. And in the ninth spot will be the center fielder, Delaney Moreno, as it'll be Archibald, Lupian, and Simmons. The middle three will be Bennett, Munson, and Charles. The bottom three will be Gonzalez, Davila, and Moreno. As strike one called over the outside corner. Just underway here, bottom half of the first inning. St. Thomas in their home white uniforms. The fake bunt up at the top of the zone, held back in one and one the count here to Archibald. The red print across the front in Houston, UST and gold. Gold numbers and the red and gold trim for St. Thomas. Wine in the pitch. Archibald takes a pitch on the outside corner at the belt. Strike two. No score. Scoreless top half of the first inning for you, Dallas. As that pitch rides up and away to Archibald. Good take there for ball two. Sunnydale Thies out of Liver Little River Academy, Texas. Academy High School. As that pitch just off the outside corner for ball three. Full count here. As Thies gets a sign from her catcher, Lizette Sosa. We'll set the defense after this at bat. Has the pitch. Fouled off, and we'll go ahead and set the defense. Lizette Sosa behind the plate. Mackenzie Flocky at first base. Erica Gazowski at second. Bree Barnes at short. And Amarisa Garza at third base. In the outfield, Abby Leslie. In center, Lastly, in center field, Isabella Halsey in left. And Jennifer Smaltz in right. As that pitch taken just a little bit wide for ball four. So a leadoff walk here to Archibald. First walk issued of the ball game for Thies. As it'll bring up the second baseman, Haley Lupian. Left-handed hitter against the right-handed pitcher. Archibald with good speed at first. Expect her to be on the move as a swing and a miss. Running down to second. Pretty good throw, but 
No tag applied there. She'll get the stolen base. Nice throw, nice throw. Good job, Coach Dom. So Archibald down to second on the swing and a mess for strike one. As these gets the sign. 0 1 pitch bunted back to the screen for strike two. 0 and 2 the count. As loop in from the left hand side, showing bunt here. We'll see if they take the bunt off with two strikes. Takes a pitch away. For ball one. One ball and two strikes. As the wine and the pitch rides up and away, ball two. No movement by Archibald down at second. As Lupian trying to get the runner over at third base with less than two outs. Swing in a fly ball, left field side, left fielder over, will make the play. Good job down there by Halsey to chase that one down toward the corner. Lupian just left that one in the air too long for out number one. Yeah, to bring up Jalen Simmons, one of the leading hitters in the conference. As a runner holding Archibald at second base, showing bunt. Now Simmons pulls the bat back for ball one. Simmons loves to go to right field in these situations. Right fielder playing a little bit in wind, blowing across the field at about 10 miles an hour from the left field corner to the right field side. That pitch on the outside corner, but a little bit low. 2-0 to count to Simmons. Right-handed hitting third baseman in there with one out in the inning. That pitch taken for a strike. Big jump down at second, but Archibald will retreat back to the bag. Might have had a chance to steal third base there with one out. Two and one the count. Swing a line drive, first base side foul. Count holding at two and two. As the pitch, swing and a ground ball to second. This will move the runner along as Simmons retired on the fielder's choice 4 3. And that'll be up to Chloe Bennett, the catcher, to try to get something out of this first inning. Archibald down at third now with two away. As Bennett steps up in there from the right side, takes a pitch a little bit up for ball one. Outfield playing a little bit toward right field. A bound ball back up the middle. It's going to get through for a base hit as Bennett drives home the Runner Archibald from third base with the first run of the ball game. First hit of the ball game for St. Thomas. As Bennett comes up with a clutch RBI single. And a one nothing lead for the Celts. As they'll send Mallory Munson to the plate, the right fielder, who's been battling a little bit of a sickness, takes strike one. 
fully healthy to go this weekend after missing a couple of games last weekend against Southwestern. As Munting in her back in her usual number five hole there, swinging a foul tip. Quickly down in the count, 0 and 2. Trying to make this a three nothing game. She tried to push that one toward right center field. Munson showing bunt. But with the 0-2 count, will pull the bat back and go into her normal swinging motion. Swinging a foul ball back as she may have swung a ball of one. As Monson takes the pitch up for ball one. No movement at first base by Bennett. And would not expect her to be on the move, but we saw her get a couple of steals in last weekend's double uh, three-game series against Southwestern. Pulling the surprise party a couple of times, swinging a miss by Monson, and that will do it. As St. Thomas picks up a run on one hit. No errors, and they leave a runner on base. First strike out of the ball game for Thies, and that will do it for the bottom half of the first inning. We'll come back live here from West U, back after this on coopersports.net. And back live here from Houston, Texas. We head to the top half of the second inning. Nobody on, nobody out as Allie Hughes facing the first baseman, Mackenzie Flocky. She'll foul it straight back for strike one. Nobody on, nobody out. Top half of the second inning. St. Thomas with a one nothing lead. Pitch slides off the outside corner for a one and one count. Game two to follow, approximately 2 15 p.m. Swing and a miss. One and two the count. Back here tomorrow for the final game of this three game series as we'll play at noon once again. Be on the air at 11 45. Then next week. It'll be St. Thomas baseball from Constellation Field as that pitch rides up and away for ball two, two and two. Flocky, Gazowski, the second baseman, and Garza, the third baseman, do in the inning, the four, five, and six hitters. Swing the ground ball, shortstop side, Gonzalez. She'll load up across the diamond and in time for the out. 6-3 on the put out for the first out here in the second inning. As we'll bring up Erica Gazowski. It's that pitch right across the heart of the plate for strike one. Yeah. 
As pitch, inside out swing. Down that first base side. It'll move the count to 0-2. A good job by Hughes once again to get ahead of hitters here. As the line and the pitch popped up foul once again. It'll hold the count at 0-2. And, and Marissa Garza waiting on deck right side. Good defensive play by Gonzalez to open up the inning. Swing a pop-up. Foul back on the screen and no play for Bennett there. Oh, two count once again, ground ball, second base side. Lupian, no problem there, will get a hustling Gazowski by a step. 4-3 on the put out, two outs now in the inning. They'll bring up the six hitter, Amarissa Garza. Takes a pitch in tight at the letters for ball one. As the wine and the pitch, swing and a miss. Took something off a change up there for strike one, one and one. Hey, relax, relax. You got it, two. As the pitch, foul back to the screen. And good job by Hughes to get ahead in the count now, one and two. Right-handed hitter against the right-handed starter, Allie Hughes. Has a pitch popped up. No play left for Davila at first base. It'll hold the count at one and two. Has a pitch popped up on the infield. Gonzalez will settle under and then falls and trips getting underneath the ball. It'll be an E6. As Gonzalez was planted underneath it, then lost her footing. And nothing really about the high sky or anything like that because there is cloud cover overhead, so it was an easy get there. But the first error of the ball game against St. Thomas puts the tying run on base. And so Hughes will have to pitch around the two-out mistake. As it'll bring up Lizette Sosa, pitch rides away for ball one. Pass the line and the pitch, low and inside, ball two. And we'll see if Hughes can settle down here. As pitch line towards center field, center fielder over Moreno, about 10 steps short of the wall, will come up with the play, and that will do it for you, Dallas, in the top half of the second inning. No runs and error. One runner left on base. And after one and a half, St. Thomas, a one nothing lead back live on Cooper Sports.
And back live here from Houston, we head to the bottom half of the second inning, a one nothing lead for St. Thomas. Johnny Piles trying to clear everybody out, but the coach is down on the far end of the third base dugout. Making sure everybody good and safe here on the field today as it will bring up Isabel Charles to the plate. Fouls it off right side for strike one. Second inning of work for Sunny Delphese as that ball lined right field side, but no play for Smaltz. Quickly ahead in the count, 0-2 on Charles. Right-handed hitter against the right-handed pitcher, Thies, who gets the sign from Sosa, now set on the 0-2 count. Rides a pitch up and away. One ball and two strikes. That pitch pops straight back over the screen and back out of play. Count holding at one and two. Game two to follow, approximately 30 minutes after the conclusion of this one. Then we'll come back for the final game of the series tomorrow at 12. Charles back up in there. As she eyes this one-two pitch, swinging a line drive to right field and over the right fielder's head. It'll one-hop the wall. Charles will take a turn at second. She's going to head to third, and the throw across the diamond is going to be late. A leadoff triple by Isabel Charles, and the right fielder just a little bit in tight there. Smaltz could not get back to it. And St. Thomas with their second hit of the ball game. Has a runner at third with nobody out. As we have to shortstop Lindsey Gonzalez. Has that pitch on the inside corner for strike one? As the wine and the pitch, rise pitch up and away. One and one to count. Charles never hesitated as she turns second. On the triple. Has that pitch grounded? Third base side, no play at home plate. The short hop play made at first base by Flocky. And the fielder's choice will result in an RBI. As it goes from five to three for the run. And stepping in from the left side, Gabby Davila, the first baseman. Swinging a foul ball straight back, strike one. So St. Thomas has doubled their lead, now 2 nothing, on the triple and ground out. As Davila from the left side back up in there. As pitch, bunt it at the plate, but foul. Moves the count to 0-2 on Davila. So the pitch, swing, and a line drive down the third base side, but it's going to curl foul. Count 
Allentown holding it on to. As once again, Davila up there from the left side. As that pitch line, third base side, but just out of the reach of the third baseman. Diving play down there by Garza could not come up with it and just missed going off the edge of her glove. But a foul ball nonetheless, strike two. As the wind and the pitch, swinging the ground ball back up the middle. It's going to scoot through for a base hit. Third hit of the ball game, second hit of the inning for St. Thomas. Trying to add on to a 2-0 lead. As we bring up the number nine hitter, Delaney Moreno. Davila with good speed at first base. See so if they have her on the move, and she is going, swinging a miss. The throw down the second on the hop is not going to be in time, so a stolen base for Davila. The ball's in one strike on the batter, Moreno. Has the pitch just off the outside corner. Take in for ball one, one and one. Top of the order, Rebecca Archibald waiting on deck. That pitch rides up and away, ball two. Two and one to Moreno. Has a pitch bunted. Pitcher coming to get it. Throw will not be in time to first base on the infield hit. And Moreno just laid that one down perfectly. Second consecutive hit, fourth of the ball game for St. Thomas. As the runner moves to third base. On what amounted to a sacrifice there. So runners on the corners with one away for Rebecca Archibald who walked and scored. Also had a stolen base back in the first. Has the one and the pitch showing bunt. Runner down to third. Coming home on the slide is going to be safe. And going to third on the overthrow is going to be a stolen base for Moreno down to second. On the play, a stolen base for Davila coming home to score run number three for St. Thomas. Then going to third on the errant throw by the second baseman, so it'll be an E4 on the throw home. One ball and no strikes, two arch balls. They'll meet in the circle to get together here for you, Dallas. And no interference call at home plate is what they were checking on. Johnny Paz getting together with base umpire Jeff DeBrow. So a chance to add to the 3-0 lead for St. Thomas as Archibald takes a pitch away for ball two. Two balls, no strikes. Archibald bunting it to the pitcher. She'll go to first base in time for the out. But the run will come home for St. Thomas from third base.
And now two outs in the inning as Archibald credited with the one three put out and the RBI. And a four nothing St. Thomas lead. Nobody on two away. As pitch fouled away by Lupian. Lupian, the 5 2 sophomore out of Ross Sterling High School in Baytown, Texas. So that pitch grounded. Two shortstop gliding in to make the play in time for the out. He has Barnes over to Flocky, and that will do it for St. Thomas. 0 for 2 now for Lupian after a fly out back to the left in the first inning. And a 4-3 put out takes care of any number two. But St. Thomas plates three runs on three hits. There was one error, and nobody left on base. 4-0 St. Thomas after two complete. Back after this timeout on coopersports.net. And back live here from Houston, we head to the top half of the third inning. Nobody on, nobody out. Here for you, Dallas. As that pitch rides away for ball one, one and one. Number seven hitter, shortstop Bree Barnes stepping to the plate. You Dallas still looking for their first hit of the ball game as that pitch misses low, ball two. Left-handed hitter. Against the right-handed starter, Ali Hughes, who pitched around a one-out error back in the second inning. That pitch over but low, ball three. Three balls, one strike. Pitch missing wide, ball four. So Udall's trying to climb their way back in this one, down 4 nothing. Dallas will bring up the number nine hitter. First walk of the ball game issued by Hughes. Isabella Halsey stepping to the plate. The left fielder takes a pitch just a little bit up for ball one. That did not miss by much. Halsey batting from the left side. Takes a pitch right across the heart of the plate at the letters for strike one. 4-3 and 1 for St. Thomas. They have left one runner on base. 0-0-0 zero, zero, and zero with one runner left for U Dallas. Runner fakes a break and a pitch once again does not miss by much. 2-1 and one the count. That's a pitch by Hughes. Throw down to second base, and it goes into the runner, and the tag not able to be applied. It'll be a stolen base for Barnes. Called strike two on the play, so a two-and-two two count against Halsey. As a wind in the pitch, just a little bit up and away for ball three, so a full count coming up here to the number nine hitter.
Has a pitch slowly grounded, third base side. No play for Simmons there. Another payoff pitch coming here to the left-handed hitting Halsey. Swing and a ground ball to short. They'll throw to third. The tag is going to be late and not in time. Gonzalez may have had the only play there. And so the fielder's choice will allow Halsey to reach first base. So runners on the corners now. With nobody out. And top of the order, Abby Lasley checking into the plate. Lasley, a five foot seven sophomore out of Lancaster, California, Quartz High School. So runners on the corners here for you, Dallas. Runner fakes a break. No play left at first base. And the infield single as Davila throwing back to Lupian is going to load him up. And that's the first hit of the ball game for you, Dallas. And they have the bases loaded now with nobody out in a 4 nothing ball game. As pitched by Hughes a little bit away, ball one. Barnes at third, Halsey at second, Lasley at first base. Good speed on the bases for you, Dallas. As the pitch, just a little bit up, ball two. Hughes has been close, but has not been able to get in the zone here in this inning. Pitch right across the heart of the plate for strike one. St. Thomas a 4-0 lead as we play here in the top of the third. But a big threat on for you, Dallas. Has a pitch pop to second base, Lupien. No play around the diamond on out number one. And it'll bring up the... Right fielder, Jennifer Smalt. In fact, Smalt with the pop-up there. It'll bring up Hinojosa. Popped out to second her first time up. Swing a line drive. Back to Hughes. She'll have the play at the plate to get the out there. A fortunate break there for Hughes as that ball got away from her briefly. But enough time left on the play to get the force play at home on the one-two put out. As everybody moves up a base. And that ball was headed to center field if Hughes did not get in the way. Two outs now with the bases still loaded. Swing and a miss by McKenzie Flocky. Flocky, the freshman out of Arlington, Texas. She's a homeschool student. Up to her to try to get something out of the inning with the bases loaded and a foul straight back to the screen for strike two. And now Hughes trying to get one big pitch here to get out of the inning. As the right-hander steps back up in there. And that pitch missing just a little bit wide for ball one. One ball and two strikes. No place to put Flocky with two away. Has the pitch, swing, and a soft popper to Lupe, and she'll take it on a hop, and she'll throw it to first base in time for the out. The fielder's choice ground out goes 4-3 to put the third out on the board here, and they dodge a huge bullet as you, Dallas, with a hit, or two, a hit, and they leave three on base. We go to the bottom half of the third inning. St. Thomas maintaining a 4-0 lead back after this on Cooper Sports.
And back live from Houston as we get set for the home half of the third inning. Throw to first base is going to be just in time to get a hustling Simmons. And a nice play coming down by Sonny Del Thies on the 1-3 put out. So Simmons trying to bunt her way on as they bring up Chloe Bennett. Yeah, she'll take a pitch away for ball one. Bennett, the 5'7 sophomore out of Waller High School. Has the former Bulldog in there from the right side. As Bennett takes a pitch up and away for ball two. Bennett had a two-out RBI single back in the first inning. She's one for one. Thies gets a sign, 2-0 pitch, lined out towards center field. Center fielder chasing, it won't catch up. This is going to one-hop to the wall. Bennett will check in with a one-out double. And that ball smoked to the just the left-hand side of center field. Second hit of the ball game for Bennett. And that is the fifth hit of the ball game for St. Thomas. So puts a runner at second base, trying to add to a 4-0 lead with one away. As Mallory Munson, who struck out her first time up, takes a pitch right across the plate at the belt. Owen won the count. As Munson... Back up in there with one strike, swinging a pop-up. Center fielder coming over will have room to make the play. Bennett won't go anywhere as the Munson will pop that out to Abby Lasley. So runner second now two away as Isabel Charles will step to the plate. Charles led off the second inning with a leadoff triple. As Charles, a sophomore out of Brazoswood High School, about 20 minutes from here. As the pitch rides up and away, ball one. Charles in there from the right side. Trying to add to the St. Thomas lead. As that pitch on the outside corner for strike one. One ball, one strike, two outs. That's pitch line toward the gap in left center field. It's going to drop in for a base hit. The center fielder will field it on a hop, but the Run will come home for St. Thomas on a clutch RBI single with two away for the Celts. As that'll be hit number six for St. Thomas. And Charles now two for two in the ball game. They'll bring up to number seven hitter Lindsey Gonzalez, the shortstop. Swing and a ball popped up to short. In fact, the second baseman coming over by the bag will take charge and make the play as one pitch swinging there as Gazowski will come up with the out, but the damage done for St. Thomas, they get a run on a pair of hits. They leave a runner, and we go. To the top half of the fourth inning, St. Thomas... Right now, a 5 nothing lead from Houston back after this.
And back live here from Houston, Texas. Top half of the fourth inning as the ball fouled back to the screen for strike one. Leading it off for U Dallas as they number five hitter Erica Gazalski. Grounded the second, her first time up over one. Swing on a line drive over to second baseman, but the center fielder coming over to make the play. Perfectly positioned there was Delaney Moreno. As the ball popped up, second base side, easy for Loopy in there. And off the bat of Garza, first pitch swinging there. She goes down for out number two. She reached on the E6 the first time up, so 0 for 2 in the ball game. This will bring up the seven hitter, the catcher, Lizette Sosa. Sosa, the junior out of Irving MacArthur High School. One of the hometown products for U Dallas. One ball and no strikes. So that pitch rides inside ball two. So that pitch a little bit up at the letters, ball three. And Hughes does not want to put on a two-out runner here. That pitch a little bit up, four-pitch walk by Hughes. Puts a runner on first base with two away. Second walk issued by Hughes in the ball game. It'll bring up the number eight hitter, Bree Barnes, the shortstop, as she cues that one. Foul third base side. No balls and one strike. Odd, she's swinging at the first pitch with Hughes struggling to find the strike zone there. That's a ground ball back up the middle off of Hughes. Gonzalez, the throw to first base is not going to be in time. It'll turn into an infield single. And put two on with two outs. So more traffic on the bases for you, Dallas. Both hits have not left the infield for the Crusaders. They bring up the number nine hitter, Isabella Halsey. Reached on a fielder's choice her first time up, swinging a miss. Halsey, the junior out of Concord, California, Corin DeLay High School, as that ball popped over the second baseman. They're going to bring the runner home. The throw by Munson's in time, and Bennett's going to lay the tag on, and that's going to be the third out of the inning. Just a perfect throw by Munson, and Bennett right there to put the tag on the hustling Sosa trying to come around third base on the hit. And so it'll go 8-2 on or 9-2 on the putout to retire the side. Second time St. Thomas has cut down a runner at the plate, and that will do it for you, Dallas. A pair of hits, two runners left, 5 nothing lead for St. Thomas as we go to the bottom half of the fourth inning from Houston back after this timeout. Thank you. 
And back live here from Houston, Texas, we go to the home half of the fourth inning. St. Thomas able to dodge another bullet from you, Dallas, as that pitch taking away to Gabby Davila. A base goes stolen base and a run scored back in the second inning. She scored run number three for the Celts. 1-0 count to the left-handed hitting Davila out of the junior out of Pearland High School about 10 minutes away. Quickly ahead of the count, 2-0. and As that pitch, just off the outside corner, ball three. Sunny Del Thieves working in her fourth inning here, trailing 5 nothing. Trying to keep her team in this one. And that pitch low and outside, a four-pitch walk here to the leadoff batter. As they bring up to number nine hitter, Delaney Moreno. Second walk issued in the ball game by Thies. And a runner on first base with nobody out. Good speed there from Davila. Fakes a break, does not go on ball one. Bunt, third base side. Third baseman will not have a play. Perfectly placed down there by Moreno. Second infield hit of the ball game for Delaney. And that is hit number seven of the ball game for St. Thomas to put two on with nobody out. And the top of the order, Rebecca Archibald stepping to the plate. Archibald, a 5'6 sophomore out of Baytown, Robert E. Lee. Showing bunt, takes ball, uh, strike one. No movement by the runners at second and third, or first and second. Showing bunt, takes a pitch away for ball one, one and one. Archibald in the ball game, a walk, a stolen base, a run scored, a sacrifice fielder's choice. RBI back in the second. Showing bunt. Back toward the pitcher, no play left as a collision. Coming down the line, trying to make the play, and there was a lot of bodies there as Garza got entangled with Sosa. And luckily, nobody got the worst of that as it will load the bases up for St. Thomas with nobody out. And it looks like we might have a pinch hitter here for the Celts. As that'll be hit number eight of the ball game for St. Thomas to load the bases up. And so batting for Lupian will be Isabella Hernandez. And you'd expect Lupian to go back in defensively after this at bat as that pitch rides up and away. No place to put Hernandez on ball one. As the wine by Thies, a pitch right on the outside corner for strike one. One ball and one strike to Hernandez. The sophomore out of San Antonio, John Jay, Science and Engineering. So that pitch just a little bit wide for ball two. Two balls and one strike with nobody out. Has a pitch line, first base side, but foul. 
Head coach Angela Frobase at third base. Assisted by Karen Cruz, Ken Eccles, and Victoria Popolowski. For U Dallas, Christian Novak, the head coach, and assisted by Talia Salinas, Emily Martin, and Kevin Jones. So the count even at two and two. The wine by Thies and the ball lined to right field. Right fielder coming over and cannot make a play, and this is about four feet foul. Good job not making the play, so a break there. Smaltz couldn't get to it. That would have easily scored a run from third base if she catches it. So the count will hold at two and two. As the pitch rides up and away, so a huge payoff pitch here for St. Thomas. They have the potential winning run on first base with a 5 nothing lead here in the fourth. As the wine by Thies, slowly grounded to third base, bobbled briefly. Now the throw to first base is going to be just in time for the out, but a run comes home for St. Thomas. As the ground out by Hernandez will go 5 to 3 on the put out, but the RBI scores Davila from third. Moving to third is Moreno on the fielder's choice, and down to second is Archibald. So Simmons steps to the plate with a chance to extend the St. Thomas lead. No balls in one strike is Simmons. Ground out to second and a bun attempt to the pitcher, able to be gotten out at first base. Right-handed hitter from Cypher Bridgeland in her junior season. Takes ball one, one and one. Big hole in right center field for Simmons. As Thies with the pitch, grounded back up the middle and through for a base hit. Tip the glove of the shortstop, Barnes. The throw to the plate will not come through. And Simmons down to third or second. The throw will be late as St. Thomas plates a pair to make it 8 nothing. And now St. Thomas a chance to get insurance here with what would be eventually a run rule lead. And that might be it for Thies as a new pitcher is coming on. And we'll give you the name and number of the new pitcher coming back live after this on coopersports.net.
to first base on the fielder's choice to retire Chloe Bennett. First time she has been retired in the ball game. It'll move Simmons over to third with two away now. As a new pitcher coming in is Ava Alamon. And now up to Munson to try to get something here out of the inning. As a ball popped by Munson, center fielder back, now settling over and under to make the play, and that will do it for St. Thomas. But the Celts pick up three runs. On four hits, there was no error, and one runner left on base. St. Thomas, an 8 nothing lead as we head to the top half of the fifth innings. And you, Dallas, will need at least a run to keep this one going back after this on coopersports.net. Take over at first base. We'll have a new left fielder as Megan Anderson checks into the ball game. And it looks like Chloe Bennett has come out from behind the plate. As new catcher will be Natalia Rivera. 8 nothing lead for St. Thomas. U Dallas must score in this inning to keep this game continuing. And it'll be the top of the order due. As Abby Lasley. Trying to see the new third base. The new shortstop is going to be Viviana Vargas. And I was like Hernandez may have stayed in the game at third base. Has a pitch by Hughes, a little bit tight for ball one. Nobody on, nobody out here, top half of the fifth inning. Udall's trying to avoid falling into an 0-10 hole in conference play as a ball line to right field. Munson will chase in to make the play for out number one. And now we're retired lastly, who is now one for three. Lined out to third and now lining out to right for the first out of the inning. As a pitch, just a little bit tight for ball one. As Jennifer Smaltz, the right fielder to the plate, takes a pitch a little bit up. For ball two, small to junior out of St. Pius X here in Houston, the former Panther. That's pitch grounded. Second base side, Odenbach coming up with the throw from Vargas or from Hernandez. So 4-3 on the put out, two outs now, and now it is up to you, Dallas. One final out here to try to get a run as stepping to the plate will be Mariah Hinojosa. Hinojosa, the designated batter, sophomore out of Cinco Ranch High School in Katy, Texas. As the former Cougar with the swing, pop up, center fielder over, Moreno will settle under, and that will do it for game number one. As St. Thomas takes it by a final score of eight to nothing over U Dallas. And we'll come back and give you the totals 
and set you up for game two of the doubleheader coming up next on Cooper Sports. and walked one. As we've gone final here in game one, this doubleheader, St. Thomas picks up their 14th victory of the season, but more importantly, seven and three now in conference play. They are tied for second place now behind Texas Lutheran in the standings. 0 and 10 now for U Dallas. They fall to three and 20 on the season.